All right, we are back again with a fresh new run, hence the intro again. Hopefully I didn't do that incorrectly and we are going to be starting up in the correct mode. Um, I didn't actually look it up in the manual, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And we should be starting uh, the April Fool's 2018 launchers mode, which is actually the very first uh, special uh, event ever for Cogmind. There we go. There it is in the log. You see it up there. Special mode activated. AFD 2018 launches. So this was the first time that I did a special event for Cogmind. And this was actually, so it was I mean, three years after the first release um, that I did this. Uh, I had never done a special event before. And someone even, someone suggested it in, in, uh, in chat on Discord, literally the, on April Fool's Day in the morning. Someone said, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we did like an April Fool's mode or whatever? And, you know, something, do something funny for April Fool's. And I don't know, I never really considered doing events before. And um, so, uh, but then I, I, suddenly this idea hit me, something that would be really, really easy that I could do so fast. And that is just to switch every single weapon in the game to a launcher, at least from your point of view. Enemies still use other weapons, they're regular ones. But for you, you can't use anything but launchers. Uh, it was a super easy change, and so I, literally I could I built and released this in less than an hour, and uh, and I didn't announce it, which was kind of extra funny because Cogmind had never had a special mode before, and so people who were starting up a game on that day, there were some people uh, <laughs> who did it, you know, but prior to any announcement or mentioned by me or anyone else, and they found that they're in a room filled with grenade launchers. <laughs> um, it was pretty funny to see reactions to that. So this is um, launchers mode where we're going to have to use launchers throughout the entire run. Obviously, there are some interesting strategic um, considerations here. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a, it was a funny story. Someone actually dropped a screenshot on the roguelikes subreddit even um, because it was so surprising. They, they dropped this screenshot on where you're in the, in the main room and it's nothing but grenade launchers. <laughs> Uh, as an announcement, kind of an indirect announcement of that, that they thought it was funny, apparently. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Uh, this is so that's how Cogmind special modes came to be. This is kind of the origin, and it's funny because I've played all of the other modes, but I never played this one. Um, I just never had a chance, and I've thought about doing it a few times. Never, I don't know, just never made it into my schedule. So this is actually the first time I've played this mode. I know some people have played it many times. Uh, Bsen actually. Uh, she was here earlier. She left, unfortunately, but I know she really liked this mode. I was playing it for a while, and some other, obviously, other people have played it at least once. But let's try this mode. So the thing is, oh, that's right. It's not, it's not just weapons. It's basically all items. Well, all items that you find on the ground are grenade launchers, but items that enemies enemies can still drop other stuff. So that's the kind of a problem because you see, we have these grenade launchers. And they don't leave much salvage, so you're def probably really going to want to get um, uh, EM weapons, I guess, and mostly use EM launchers to get your stuff. So ideally, dude, don't get near me. <laughs> I've got a bunch of launchers. Well, he's not going to have anything left. I guess I could have done that with fewer launchers. <laughs> Should use one of these as cover and the other one. All right, so why am I shooting these guys? I'm shooting them because I would really like... Uh, I would really like some salvageable parts. See, look at that. We finally got a wheel. <laughs> so one of the things you're going to run out of in this mode is matter. The other thing you're going to run out of is parts. <laughs> look at all this crappy stuff. Um, hey, guys, I'm back. Yeah, I would like some more parts. There we go. There's a better engine. And the other one's a seismic analyzer. I don't really care about that. But almost anything's going to be valuable. Insufficient matter. Shoot around the matter. Yeah, these guys aren't a good source of matter. <laughs> Plus, shooting. That's the thing about launchers balance in Cogmind is that uh, we have zero matter. So that's the thing about launcher balance. If um, I'm just gonna ram these guys. Yep, yep. He's running away. He's like, "What are you doing? I'm just a worker." Yeah, I can't even chase the guy down. All right, I'm gonna go for your friend. I'm gonna get some matter by ramming these guys. Not great for our core. Damn, core damaged. 
but it gave us a matter. Now we have 16 matter. I kind of like to find another weapon, but <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I might have started this off in the wrong way as I was talking here. Let's just go in. We might die. In fact, I'm pretty, I'm, we're pretty much guaranteed to die early on because I don't have the strategy down for this yet, but that's okay. Dying is fun and we're going to learn and I will start another run if we die. Get a tracking Trojan going. Let's see, what else can we learn here? Oh, of course, it's a grenade launcher. <laughs> so all these items around are, are all turned into launchers. The good thing is about this mode is that you're going to see launchers that you might not even normally see in your regular runs. There are some pretty rare and very powerful launchers. Obviously that's later in the game, but um, they will be easy to find in this mode because there's so many launchers. All right. Um, technician. Don't want to really call attention to myself just yet because we don't have a lot of matter. But I don't know how we're going to deal with that without finding more matter. So yeah, matter is pretty much the biggest problem. So I guess we need tractor beam but to get a tractor beam um actually now that i think of it can we get schematics i guess we can that's not something i was really i didn't go as far as uh, messing with schematics back then that's something i did do in for example rpg like mode which is built which i spent a lot more time on obviously and is is built and more balanced to be uh, really strict on the rules for example you can't get storage um you're not allowed to uh, even get them through schematics or whatever. But in this mode, I'm, I'm not sure, actually, you probably can still fabricate things. <laughs> Tone says schematics are cheating. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. But but we want something like a, uh, if you, the thing is, if you don't get a, a, um, a like a long range tractor beam, then you're going to be at a huge disadvantage unless you're using EM. It kind of forces you to use EM, but <laughs> schematic matter. <laughs> Uh, haulers. Do haulers have normal items? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I am very unfamiliar with this mode. So it was released over a year and a half ago, and I've never played it. But again, it was really simple. So my guess is haulers do have different stuff, which would make them good targets. Anyway. Guided launchers, yeah. Oh, hey, Bad Jace. Um, yeah, we uh, we won the four slot one. It went okay. Well, I mean, it wasn't super hard, but uh, it was fun. All right, we're not being reported yet. All right, so here's a hauler. I really wonder if he's got anything. I don't know what else we're going to actually find out here. Wait, what just spotted us? Watcher. Okay. Uh, again, nothing but grenade launchers. On the first floor, you're just going to find nothing but grenade launchers. After Once we get to the next floor, we'll start seeing other stuff. Oh, look, all those storage units became grenade launchers. <laughs> Funny. We haven't many. Oh, all right. So this guy, well, it's a scavenger. I really want to kill him. I'm going to take his matter. But if we don't kill him in one shot, well, no, we can actually just ram him to death. Let's do that. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll succeed. Maybe not. We just hurt ourselves a lot. It's okay. We don't have anything good. I'm just going to ram him. Well, he's given us a lot of matter. But I want... Oh, he's not gonna have much matter left once he actually dies. He even hurt. Yeah, he's barely hurt. We don't have much in the way of mass to actually ram this guy to death. He's almost dead. Yes. All right. Now we have 169 matter. And he also dropped his wheels. And who was storage unit? Sure. Why not? Let's take all this stuff. We're now a pretty much we're a scavenger. <laughs> we're a scavenger carrying grenade launchers. All right. Um, let's see. So let's check. I'm just curious here. Long range. Oh, wait. Oh, we're too early for a long range terrain scanner? Fine. Let's just look for a normal one just for the hell of it. Well, we failed, but it didn't say we couldn't. So I guess we can get schematics. That's one option. So, yeah, it might seem like cheating, but I mean, there's not... Uh, that was the point of the mode was basically just... 
you can't find stuff on the ground except launches, but there are other ways to get other stuff. I mean, certainly you can get it with salvage from enemies. All right, this guy has a terrain scanner. I mean, a, a wait a minute, he has a terrain scanner, not... Hmm. Is that engineers? All right, well, I can't imagine us doing a whole lot of really useful stuff here, but we have a storage unit. We can put another grenade launcher in there. Also attach more full integrity grenade launchers. <laughs> Although I guess we should also pres preserve some of our energy here. All right, so, I mean, our, our matter. All right, should probably get out of here. Uh, see you, Danny. Okay, so in this mode, do we want more weapon slots? The answer is definitely no. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can only fight with so many launchers. All that said, in this is so it's not launchers mode, but I remember GJ was and and not even just GJ, some other people, but especially GJ were doing a launchers only run with um, in the regular mode, not as a special mode, and being very successful at it. Um, just running around with not just two slots either, like a whole bunch of slots of powerful launchers as a strategy, a regular strategy. It can work. All right, I'm gonna go for one of each propulsion and utility. I'm actually not sure what our propulsion will be. I didn't decide on that yet. I guess wheels could have been good, but no, if we're gonna use launchers, I don't know, maybe we should be on treads. Treads or legs, probably. Treads would give us the accuracy, but would be extra slow. But I, I need to start getting into the mentality of we're not playing RPG like anymore. This is the first time I've done a non RPG like run for a couple months, I guess. So maybe not quite that long. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, um, but it's been a while. It's been at least over a month. So um, we need to get back in the mentality of we can actually use a lot of different slots and put and have some real defenses with all these launchers and all the chaos we're going to cause. Maybe we should be on treads. Yeah, exactly. Gobot, uh, Gobot says treads for all that point blank launchery because uh, we are going to be doing some point blank launchery. Uh, that's true. We need a matter filter. That's important. We should get one of those soon. All right, here's a rocket launcher. So we can already upgrade to a rocket launcher, but. I'm going to wait on that real quick just because I don't want to spend our matter attaching stuff. It's kind of valuable. All right. So can we get a matter filter? No. We can get the schematic for matter. <laughs> we can't get a matter filter yet. We can't get any long range stuff either. Matter field is level five. Um, yeah, it's a rating five. Um, that makes sense. So we wouldn't be able to get it, it get even a schematic until like the next floor, and in which case it's pretty hard. <laughs> but yeah, the better ones for sure. That's good. That's pretty high. They're not level. They're not rating ten though. <laughs> uh, rating ten is reserved for only uh, unique items, but it's certainly very high. But yeah, if we can lower our matter cost, that would be very good. All right, and here's an EMP blaster, which is, I think, going to be essential for uh, getting some matter. Mm -hmm. Don't really need to know where the level access points are. It doesn't matter. All right, actually, where's this guy here? Where are you going? Nope, not going to fire that. All right, we can also shoot ourselves. Hey, we found a secret door. Shoot. Well, I was hoping we could take that guy out first. All right, now enemies are coming. Now, maybe we'll use this opportunity to stock up. Oh, damn it, missed. There we go, matter and other stuff. Some wheels, there's a terrain scanner, structural scanner. Why not? And heat sink, all right. We've now got an interesting build to start with, that's for sure. <laughs> Our matter is actually still kind of low. 
I'd like to take out a recycler because that's where it's at. You want the matter from the recyclers. But it's hard to do that with an EMP unless you have multiple EMPs. In fact, maybe that's a good idea. All right, these guys, I'm just going to say screw that and use grenade. Yeah. Uh, multiple EMPs could actually be really good. We don't have any more yet. But One of the other things we're going to have a problem dealing with is alert. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe we should get Riff. Actually, Rift didn't even exist back then. I, or I, and by Riff, I just mean in order to gauge our alert, not really for any bot hacking purposes. Um, that's true, Storm Cleaver. The launcher guidance, uh, that could be useful in this mode. So in this mode, enemies or there's one cannot drop their weapons. There's an EMP. Let's do want that. Oh, shoot. All right, enemy's going to be coming from the east also. All right, it's a sentry, and he's already going to be coming. Shoot, cut that out. Damn it. Ooh, we dropped prototype engines though. No, I just ran out of energy. I say as we're looking at prototype engines. All right, fine. We'll, all right, this door got knocked open, locked open there. Hello, Sentry. Yep, you're just walking by. I'm gonna pick up one of these prototype engines and oh, somebody dropped treads. Grab some of those and yeah, I'm just like getting hit here. All right, just lost that. Damn it. This guy was about to go down, too. Not going to happen now. Shoot. And it's going to make it a problem to kill this sentry, actually. Because they are resistant to grenades. Not even really worth shooting a sentry with grenades. Alright, he went north. He's in the room above us. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, we have one wheel left. That could become very, very bad news. I think it's time to use the rocket launcher. There we go. That was not a bad haul. Because now we can pick up legs. Oh, this guy's going to be annoying. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Whole lot of launchers. Rocket launchers, mini grenades, basically all this stuff's better than what we've got. What I really want is to pick up any EMPs. We only have one here though, unfortunately. Use it, oh shoot, this dude to the south. Well, good, he's gone now. Shoot. It's going to take a lot of hits to kill this guy. If only we had two. <laughs> He's going to die soon, though. Okay, now we can restock our launchers.
All right, our propulsion is actually in terrible shape. Ooh, there's a leg. All right, slightly, ever so slightly less terrible shape. I'm wondering if it's a good idea to be on the next floor or not. Ooh, there's a matter pod over here. Hmm. Oh, seriously? Glad I've still got my legs. Oh, that was nice. Too bad he dropped nothing, but it is to be expected. All right, we can carry a little more matter now. I'm kind of surprised there was a matter pod there. Oh, maybe I did that on purpose. Maybe it still allows matter pods to be... This was a mining laser and it was converted to a launcher. Oh, that's... So maybe that's why, yeah, that was left the way it was. Kind of want to take out that hauler. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, a second EMP. Also some armor. Structural scanner is fun, but we kind of need some armor. Now we only have 44 matter again. Um, hey, we got 83 matter from this machine. What's in your inventory? Ooh, they've got some legs. Those legs are really beat up. <laughs> There's some really beat up legs in here, a decent wheel. Um, I'm wondering whether, should we retrieve the components or convert them to matter and then take the matter from that? I guess let's take convert to matter. I'm gonna convert them to matter. All right, we recycled all the parts. Now I'm going to get the matter. Yes, we now have 286 matter. So hey, it's it's recycling units at work. Excellent. And this guy's delivering yet more stuff. So that's an exit to the mines. I hadn't really decided if we were going to go anywhere special for this run. I was talking a little bit about going to a garrison. Hmm... Seems like it might be a good idea. Obviously, we're not quite at the depth for that yet, but uh, we're going to skip the mines. Uh, that's the main question right now. Grenades, rockets, EMP, another EMP. Let's balance out our inventory here. So where are we? We could have actually found an exit by now, but oh, we're in the middle of the map. We could have found an exit by now, but I haven't been looking for one. There's an exit to our southeast. Um, actually, can't actually think of anything I want right now. Plus, it'd be hard to get. Let's go for tracking drone. Ooh, okay, that's helpful. Watcher to the east. Oh, it did report us. Damn. Oh, what's got reported? Okay, it was not those sentries to the south, which are not moving. That watcher is too far away for that. There's some other patrol coming from the east. Whatever it is, I want their propulsion. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's another sentry. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some treads. Oh, he dropped both his treads on a single hit. And these guys are stealing them. Shoot, okay, now the other sentry's gonna come. Alright, good. Got his tread. Ah, oh, shoot, they did. this could dude just picked it up. <laughs> Fine, we'll take this guy's treads. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying not to corrupt ourselves. Ouch. Oh, that was a damaged one. Nice having two of these, though. Now I'm trying to race this guy. Dude, all right, I'm going to switch to tread so it doesn't hurt us and just try and ram this guy. Yeah. Ram him again. Gonna swap in more treads.
We can now ram things by running over them with treads. I think I want to use treads. <laughs> All right, our matter is full. Excellent. Okay, there's an exit to the east. We'll get spotted when we walk out here, probably. Yeah. Oh, shoot, there's double. Probably going to hit the wall here. Got his engine. Really wish they were both in range, but oh well, that's okay. Get them separately. Oh, that was actually pretty nice. All right, some light treads. Let's switch to all treads. Drop one of our rocket launchers. EMP blaster. We do have a spare engine for our damaged one. Okay, that's good enough for now. Hmm. Rockets. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to fire the EMP as well. I forgot. I'm not used to using multiple launchers at once. This is definitely a different style. All right, anyway, we found the exit. Let's get up to where there's even better launchers. It's pretty easy to find better launchers. It's kind of neat. <laughs> okay, so no weapons. Again, if you're gonna, it might be good actually to stack some launchers. Maybe we'll do that later, but it's not gonna be, it normally be my style to get more weapon slots early, but that's because I generally go with guns, but not this time. Right, so if we're going with treads, we're eventually going to want another propulsion slot. I'll just go for it now. Because we're gonna, once we hit the heavy treads, then we can attach two of them. Shock bomb. All right. Kind of like a better EMP. Let's see. Oh, we can already put on our other treads. There it is, long range tractor beam, 18%. Oh, good, got it. Oh, rating three. Hmm. Yeah, Sir Mordred, really. Actually, I'm not even sure how to report people. That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> I have to figure that out some other time. I was looking at it a second ago, but I'm not going to fool with that now. Okay, so now we can switch to Shock Bomb and EMPs together. Ooh, okay, that hurt. Our... Reserves over there. Still got back up to about max though. So. Oh, okay. Thanks, Tone. Yeah, I can see how alert goes really high in this mode. <laughs> mm, a lot of treads. I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the access to launchers. To, oh, there's like a whole open area here. All right, this is gonna cause problems. The engineers are gonna get mad. Yep, there we go. 
Well, not mad, just scared, right? Shoot. Power went down, and swapping in power took a second. Ooh, prototype launcher down there. Our first. Also, there's an improved grenade launcher here. Shoot, this dude just took our stuff. Get back here. Uh, I'm less effective at keeping our stuff intact with the launchers here. <clears throat> or uh, keeping uh, control of it. Lost some treads. Should probably put on our other armor, which I completely forgot to do. Don't leave slots empty, folks. Yeah, having trouble maintaining two EMP launchers at once, energy-wise. Yes. He's sitting on the prototype launcher, right? Yes. Damn it. Kind of want to go grab that, but... Mm. Prototype launchers are good. Oh, hey, welcome, Blinken. Uh, inven you love the inventory doesn't count against your support mass. Yeah, that would uh, it would be way too complicated. That's why I did that. I mean, obviously, some people are like, oh, it's not realistic. But if you had to consider that, I mean, there's already so many things you have to consider with build management and inventory management and stuff. That would just be insane and not fun. So, yeah, decided to make it. It's all in your uh, storage units. Speaking of storage units, we need more storage units. <laughs> This is too too low of a count for this build. Shoot, I don't want to. Uh, I maybe go ram the dude. All right, yeah, we lost that. Okay, sure. I'm going to put on, let's see, let's put on a mini grenade launcher. Basically, just his armor. I'm going to ram this guy. Get out of the way. There we go. Thank you. Now we have the prototype launcher. What else is here? Oh, there's a missile launcher, too. Don't have one of those yet. <laughs> just collecting launchers. <laughs> oh, why we lose our armor. <laughs> Dragging it. <laughs> All right. Um, all right. Let's go back to EMPs real quick then. Mini grenades. Switch to EMP. Uh, we're actually kind of in trouble again because our treads are almost destroyed, and actually, almost all their stuff is destroyed. Shoot! If we lose our treads, this would be very bad. One tread left. Die! Mm. Oh, yes, he lost his weapon at least. Whew. Okay, that was kind of close. <laughs> A lot of legs up there, actually. Guess I need to go pick those up. Our alert is quite terrible, I'm sure. Oh, came back again. He's got a small laser. Well, actually, no, wait. Don't these guys always small? Is that, that's a backup laser, right? Yeah. He went and got a backup laser. Disarmed dude from earlier. That's what I think of your backup laser. Okay, we're going to have some backup propulsion in the form of legs here. Actually, we'd be faster on legs. And we'll automatically switch to treads once we start firing. That's an option you can activate in your advanced options. It is to automatically switch between treads and other propulsion. Treads when in combat, other propulsion when moving. It's very good for quite a few builds. You know what? I think are we going in the right direction? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, I don't think there's a whole lot of options at the moment, but maybe we shouldn't be going west. It might be too late. We're already going west. All right, I guess I'm going to Forge West. This might involve more conflict than I want, but... There are more shock bombs in here. Gimme, gimme. Sitting under that dude. Okay, new shock bomb. You, out of my way. There we go. That leads to the mines, though. That's not where we want to go. Improved grenade launcher. Here's another shock bomb. I'm going to take that.
I think we need a third shock bomb launcher. I'm kind of trying to maintain. Actually, speaking of that, I probably should upgrade. No, wait, rocket launcher. Are there any other rocket launchers that are better? I don't think so. No, because we need something ranged as well. The thing about grenades is they're very short range. They're good, they're accurate, they're powerful, but they're also short range compared to the other launchers. Hmm, I'm gonna drop a rocket launcher and grab another EM. Oh shoot, okay. Go for double shock bomb on this guy. Ouch, lost some armor. Yes, okay, thank you. Well, he took out our armor and then we took out, we got his armor. Yeah, it doesn't work as well when you're using support units, yeah. The heavy storage is quite heavy, too. But does a lot of carry ton of stuff. In fact, I guess we're looking for that as well. But um, yeah, we can't find any on the ground in this mode. Uh, so we need to take it from uh, haulers, which don't carry quite as good of storage until the mid game. Then you can at least get large. The other way to get good storage, or at least a high capacity storage, would be go to go to um, Zion and get dispatches. Then you could take hunchbacks, I, I guess, from the uh, from the uh, resupply dispatches. Okay, at least purged a little bit. <laughs> All right, so this did leads probably to the mines. So I don't want to, or it could go to storage. This might lead to storage. Don't even know. It's a mystery. See, we automatically switch to treads here. Oh, it's nice having double shock bombs. Okay, he's not dead yet for some reason. Fine, we'll wait over here for a second. Did he forget us? He forgot where we are. <laughs> He's so corrupted, he, he couldn't even follow us into the room, I think. He was only willing to go as far as that. Well, didn't make it any further. We are going all over the place. You know what? Probably should have gone north here, that corner. That would have been the way towards the exit, but I didn't do that. All right, let's use missiles because they're our most powerful and longest range weapon here. All right, we hit the back row. We hit the front row. They're done for. All right, now I'm going to go the way I should have gone before, and it's this way. Shoot. All right, I've been spotted. That's okay. Let's switch to treads real quick so I can smash right into that guy. Back to legs. Uh, there's a commando following us. EMPs, missiles. All right, the exit should be to the west. All right, this is a good position to kill this guy from. Got his friend. Fortunately, his friend is not the armed one. Uh, out of energy. Okay, I'll move over real quick. Oh, shoot, there's a rogue coming. That means there's a squad to the north. There's going to be at least another grunt or two. Hey, welcome, TKR. We're doing the launchers mode. Never played it before. There they are, the other two troopers. Um, you know what? With this group, we have enough matter now. Um, we have enough matter and our parts are, so well, I can't say they're in great shape, but in decent enough shape that I think we should actually just kill them um, with a missile or something like that. Let's switch to, let's find out what our prototype is. Not the great, oh, it's advanced EMP. Okay, well, considering I already attached it, I guess we'll use the advanced EMP. So I think we're going to get shocked here. Advanced EMP is nice. Oh, we ran out of power. Of course we did. Yeah, my original idea was better. <laughs> I was hoping the prototype launcher would be something like a precision uh, rocket launcher or something like that. That would have been more helpful. We can't get away from this guy. So anyway, yes, this is what we were referring to earlier when we talk about point-blank launch rank, right? 
shoot, I still don't have enough energy. All right, it's going to have to be a point-blank missile-y type launcher. All right, let's go for grenades. There we go, he's dead. And you guys are going to die soon. I love improved grenades. They are very punchy. I should really fire to the east, but it's going to make a mess. <laughs> Alright, let's make a mess. Oh, we didn't get him. We got everything around him. Yes. Oh, wait, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Alright, that time he's dead. Uh, EMP blaster. What else is here? There's a hover unit. Hey, there's a tractor beam. These have a range. Wait, what's their range? Four? Yeah. Hey, it's better than nothing. Hmm. Our matter pod's going to go soon, too. All of our stuff's going to go soon. We're in pretty bad shape again. <laughs> oh, the cycle of life. Dog mind life. Rogues are jerks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, can, they can be really annoying. All of the melee enemies are pretty annoying. Yeah, as Desinim says, uh, big boom time always. In this mode, that's what it is. Just boom in the whole way. It's kind of... It's a <clears throat> definitely an exciting mode. I'll, I'll give it that. Hmm. This is one EMP. We do need a spare power source. Trying to decide what we want to drop here. I guess we'll drop, we need to drop a mini grenade launcher. Get this improved one. And then also, wait, there's a light nuclear core in the northwest. We get the better of the, it's in good shape. Yes, let's grab this nuclear core up here. It's okay. Now we have a spare power source too. Uh oh, this is an alarm trap. There's a 99% chance there's another alarm trap here and here. But the exit is possibly around this corner. So we kind of have to go this way. So the option is, the main option here is to just destroy the alarm traps. Improved grenades right there. There we go. No alarm traps. The yeah, exit's coming up. I promise. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, Yeah, try to harder hack when we're not a hacker. Oh, hello. All right. All right, yeah, we know your terminals. Oh, there must be a hidden door in here, considering the way that guy just ran. Let's replace our, uh, let's see, let's replace our current improved grenades with this one. Oh, they're here. Hmm. Is there a garrison in that room? Uh, there might be a garrison in that room. Um. Oh shoot! Wrong button. All right. All right. They're dead anyway. But not exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, there is a garrison. Right there. Luckily, they didn't call for help. <laughs> that would have been a mess. Actually, though, this is an opportunity. Should we go into the garrison? This is the sub-level 8 garrison. It's going to be the easiest one. We're kind of not in a great position damage-wise. I mean, all our stuff's really messed up. The only thing we have is going for us is we have a spare, propose, a spare power source. What's everyone else think? Should we go into the garrison or not? Going to the next floor would reset our alert, sort of, and also the, the good thing about going into the garrison is uh, we then know our, what our alert is from now on. I'm assuming we get Riff, which would be kind of the goal of doing that, but we're not going to do any bot hacking this run. I don't, again, I don't even know if you can. 
Oh, what was that? One second. Okay, sorry about that. I unplugged the phone. <clears throat> That'll solve that problem. Uh, apparently, it's it's election season right now, and there's a whole lot of robocalls going around for election season. So that was a robocall number. I didn't even answer the phone. You can pretty much tell. <laughs> so goodbye to that. Back to Cogmind. Where were we? We were deciding whether or not to enter this garrison. I think the, probably the main problem is if you go into the garrison and things go bad, right now we're in bad shape, if things go worse, then we, there's a much higher chance of dying than if we were in the regular complex. So in that sense, it's probably safer to not do that. If we want to, we can go into the next floor in a better situation. Because the next floor won't have a super deadly garrison anyway. The desert garrisons don't get more deadly until uh, at least the Factory 5. So let's skip it this time. Oh, whoops. Gotta get out of that mode there. Let's just leave. And I think we have enough propulsion now. We're going to go for utility. I say that, but I don't know. We have low storage, enough that I, I kind of want to keep carrying extra propulsion on us, but I'm using it sort of as armor. But again, we're going, with, we're going to try and go with shreds. So now we can start getting yet more launchers proton missiles nice all right we can upgrade our emps there's also a heavy missile launcher nice <laughs> dropped an advanced emp okay yeah i guess that was our weakest but they still they are a different damage type technically let's see let's drop our shock bomb drop the spare shock bomb pick up both of these Proton missiles are nice. Regular missile. Yeah, we don't need the rocket launcher. All right. There we go. We now have a, a better assortment. And now we can also find a fabricator and get a terrain. I mean, a tractor beam. I was getting those confused. Let's see also if we can get a matter filter. That would be a nice addition. Um, yep. Regular one, 14%, not great chances. We'd have to get some hackware or do it later to get that. Oh, prototype launcher. Let's find out what it is. Oh, it's fault. Yeah, unfortunately, it just overheated us. Yeah, one of the less dangerous, well, I say less dangerous, but we don't have any heat sinks, and so it did shut down our proton missile launcher for a little bit. It can be very bad. Oh, shoot. 70. It's our heaviest thing. Uh, let's see if we, we could turn on these. Yeah, T turning on our treads makes it easy to escape. Oh, we can use our treads to also ram this dude. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Not too important. Oh, another heavy missile launcher. We're carrying too many launchers, by the way. <laughs> we need non-launcher stuff. Where are we? In the center east part of the map. Yep. All right. Oh, shoot. There's a sentry sitting right here. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to ram him rather than point blanking him, but there's another prototype in there. We're going to use proton missiles on this guy, but I really don't want to catch us inside the proton missile blast. Ouch. Going to step outside the blast and equip two proton missiles. Yeah, you're going to be hurting, buddy. Oh, shoot, we're hurting too. We have so few utilities. All right, one more volley and he's dead. Oh man, we can't even fire any more than one missile. <clears throat> I 
Eh, did give us some stuff. I guess we got his armor and treads. His engine is actually pretty decent too. Maybe we should get rid of our cooled engine. Just because it's damaged. I guess our spare wasn't. All right. Now we can check out yet more. Oh, uh, there's a faulty precision grenade launcher. And this one we haven't identified yet. So I know what this one is. Oh, it's a rocket array. <laughs> mm, it's not a scatter rocket array, but it's a rocket array. And rocket arrays are actually one of the more fun weapons in uh, Cogmind. I love firing rocket arrays. They are very fun. They're extra destructive and sometimes they can be a very bad thing. We're not going to be using it a whole lot, I don't think, if we want to survive. But uh, yeah, we're going to carry it around though. The thing is, it won't be that hard to find uh, uh, another one later, too. And also, it won't be that hard to find a, a um, an even better one. The scatter rocket arrays are cool. They fire even more missiles. Basically, it fires a ton of missiles. That's what these things do. Um, okay, so I guess we're just headed south. First, we're going to look at this corridor. Not go that way. And then I'm going to try and ram this guy, just because he happens to be here. There we go. So grab his matter. Uh, shoot. Uh, shoot. <laughs> well, that slightly damaged our proton missile, but it's in okay shape. Oh, look, there's another one. <laughs> Regular missile launcher. We need um, to find a hauler. I'm going to follow the edge of the map. Kind of stay out of trouble. Oh, there was a shoot trap there. A shoot trap would... I guess as long as we have enough matter, it wouldn't be too bad, but it's going to say a shoot trap's not very good. <laughs> Swarmers. Our build is like Swarmer Bane. <laughs> I'm going to fire a heavy missile this time. You survived. I mean, didn't, hey, your weapon didn't survive that. Basically, you just need a good launcher to take care of swarmers. And, well, that's like all we have is good launchers. All right, I saw a hauler over here. Good deal with him. Ooh. Oh, there's a garrison. Actually, we weren't going to go into a garrison, maybe. Hmm. Our utilities are just very lacking. <laughs> but let's hold that thought. I might go into that garrison. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, funny. All right. Here we are. Where you fell into a, a, a shoot waste. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, we're sucked down. So, all right, let's. Who knows what's in here? We'll find out, I guess, shortly. Well, actually, that I don't know if that's telling. There's a missile launcher sitting there. Okay, so the good thing is, we have a lot of launchers. We could actually take them out. Um, we can take out these crushers in here. We can also move even faster. We can move faster and probably even avoid them. If we have to, I would be afraid mainly of running out of matter if we attack. But if we did attack them and kill them, we could also get some damper plating. Well, I say that, but uh, which we have slots for. But um, if we're going to hit them with launchers, I wonder if they'd even drop them. Um, we could get corrupted. I don't know what's going to happen here. We need to, before we make a decision, I guess we'll move a little bit. See what happens. Um, Everything in here is a launcher, too, of course. Heavy rockets. Is it? Um, uh, I wonder if there's any enemies. Let's see. Seems like there should be. Are they all on the east side? That would be kind of annoying. It's nice when you can not worry about a few. I would be afraid mainly that we'd run out of matter trying to kill everything. 
Here's the matter readout, which shows us if you press Q twice, it switches from info mode to matter mode, and we can now get a glimpse at how much matter it takes to fire everything we've got here. <laughs> Big squeezies. <laughs> yep, the other name for crushers. Um, yeah, so a rocket array takes a ton of matter, but obviously it applies a ton of missiles. Heavy missile... I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of experience fighting crushers with missiles, but presumably it, um, it's actually really effective. So maybe we don't have to worry about that. But so far, the thing is the EMP isn't charging. Something tells me they're not here. Listen, what happened? What's going on here? Is this place empty? Oh, okay, I was wrong. Damn, just kind of wasted that time. The MP EMP isn't charging yet. I thought it would have charged already, but... Uh, nope, there's a crusher right here, so it's apparently not dead. <laughs> He's moving. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought I'd be fine, but nope, it's not dead. It's a regular waste, and there's now a crusher coming. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually try to just circumvent them, but the thing is, we've already gone through half the floor, which means all the crushers are to the east of us, which is kind of dangerous. I'm mainly just worried about running out of matter. But I guess we could start by killing some. Oh, actually, let's get them real quick. What do they have here? Oh, yeah, they are really weak to explosive. They have 80 core integrity, and they have they take double damage from explosives, so they are pretty weak. All right, I guess you don't have to worry too much about this then. I'm just going to step out here and kill this guy. Maybe I should have stepped out a little slower or further back, but uh, whatever. Derelict Recycler Acquired. Oh, hey, Desinim. <clears throat> yes. No, wait, what? Derelict... <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> nice. Different colored. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know about that. A few specific edits. We've edited our, our recycler. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this does. Um, well, we destroyed his cooling system. This is going to start hurting us in a second. Shoot. All right. I think what can we do here? We can do DE. Um, shoot. What I'd like to do is get some space between us and him, but the only way I can do it is, move, is if we're moving faster. What's the speed on these? And the only way we can move faster is if I drop our armor. And to drop our armor, though, I'd have to either drop it on the ground, in which case it's going to probably get blown up, or... Um, drop and spend uh, two actions and drop uh, a, some something from our inventory. All right, I dropped a missile launcher from our inventory because I mean we've got a lot of those, right? All right, we're cornered. Didn't exactly gain a whole lot of ground, but something. See how effective this really is. I heard this is effective. He's getting closer. <laughs> We're blowing ourselves up. <laughs> and now he's sitting in front of us. What the hell? That didn't work. <laughs> how many parts does he have left? He's got too much other stuff. He's got damper plating on. What's his core exposure? That's something I didn't look at. You know what? He's got 15% core exposure. It's 100% weakness, but his core exposure is very low. All right, this was a bad move. Shoot. Also, I... Hmm, no, all right. Please don't hit me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. All right. Please don't hurt me. All right, we're faster than them, technically. So that was a test. Didn't go well. I'm going to leave. <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, there's a crusher block in the way. There's two crushers block in the way. All right, there are two crushers to the south. We need to go down this corridor. I think he's going south. But if they both get in front of us, we're basically screwed. <laughs> we can't go back now either. Uh, grab the advanced EMP blaster? That'll be useless here. Uh, we don't need it. Well, it's not going to do anything for us. I mean, it's not that great either. Um, we already have proton missiles, which are fine. Remember, these guys have damper plating. They're immune pretty much to EM damage. 
So we can't use it against them. If we if it would have worked, I would have used double proton missiles earlier. Yeah, the heavy missiles didn't quite cut it. Maybe we, what we should have been doing is I could have fired two launchers, and we had the matter. I should have fired two launchers. Heck, we're getting part of the rocket array. Maybe that's even a good idea, considering it fires so many of them. But then we'd really run out. Oh, uh, shoot. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get past that one on the right. All right, that one to the south is moving south. I'm going to wait. All right, I'm waiting until he goes around the corner, and then I'm going to make a run for it. There he is. Okay. Yes, it worked. Okay. There's two to our west, two to our south, and one somewhere to the east. We made it. They're up in the north and the south. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Luckily, the EMP is shut down. The fact that the EMP is shut down, actually, you know what that means is we must have allies behind a wall down here, but I thought that it required an open room. Or maybe it's, a, maybe, oh, maybe they're down here. There's allies somewhere in here, probably. Because the EMP is shut down. What that means is that uh, Warlord's forces have shut down the EMP. And that means they're probably hiding behind the walls somewhere. They just haven't come in yet. So, yeah. Yep, that's a little, a little tip you can use. Otherwise, the EMP should be operating. Especially cons considering how slow we're moving, it would have fired by now already multiple times. We should have a bunch of corruption. So that's part. That's why when I went up here, I actually went up further into the room, is because uh, I wanted to see if they would come in or not. Actually, they won't always even come in on their. There's there's multiple situations. They might come in on their own if you get close enough, and they also might not come in at all. You actually have to uh, dig them out because. <laughs> They're not ready to come at all, and um, but they'll come if you open the door. Anyway, okay, so I was considering right now, should we try and get our friends? I can sit here next to the exit and just like scatter rocket, or ro not scatter, we don't have scatter, just rocket array all these guys and see if we can kill them, but I don't think we're going to have the matter to do that. So that's quite exciting. Hey, guys, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that wasn't somewhere I wanted to go. Yeah, I don't think we'd win that, Benji. We don't have enough matter. Anyway, we're back. <laughs> we are back once again. What it, the good thing is, we don't have any alert anymore. Probably not. Oh, proton bomb traps. Because once you drop into a chute, you pretty much lose your alert. Most of it. How many more proton bombs are there? Faulty rocket array. Okay, we started. Top right here. I guess we're heading west. Oh, that's right. We lost our storage unit too. Sheesh. We really need to work on some spare parts. <laughs> Just parts in general. Our utilities are low. This mode is pretty tough, but there's a fabricator to the south. Maybe we can use that. At least we have matter. I'm going to proton missile the hell out of whatever we find here. Uh, can we build a remote data check? No, thank you. Let's build a tractor beam. How long? That's 73. Oh, my gosh. Shoot. All right. It's going to take 73 turns. Oh, wait. Did I just forget to build it? <laughs> I forgot to build it. Stupid me. Now we've built it, but there's somebody coming. Shoot, there they are. That's okay. This might be a good thing. Might. <clears throat> that didn't have to happen. All right, I'm going to use proton missiles. What? Where did your friend go? Why are you taking me so slow? Oh, whoops. Blew my own leg off. Somewhat helpful. Oh, we can still hop on one leg even faster. Okay, then. 
somewhat uh, helpful that uh, that combat took about as long as um, it did to build our long range tractor beam. This will make it easier to keep our matter stores up. Heck, let's put on two long range tractor beams. <laughs> <laughs> Pat J says empty utilities is making me upset. Yes, making me upset too. So many, so many empty slots. It's harder to fill them in this mode though. Once you get them filled though, if you um, you know if you keep up your offensive power, then you don't have to worry quite as much about losing utilities. The problem is we never really got a whole lot of them to begin with. Hmm, hopefully we can get some stuff off this dude. One more volley. Shoot, it's always one more volley. Well, we only have one missile in this volley. It was enough though. Yes. We picked up that matter. Alright, right now we're going to switch. We're going to keep with the uh, half legs, half tread build. I wonder where that leads. Mainly because... Uh, we don't. We can move slightly faster, considering we don't have as much uh, utility stuff going, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But we'll switch to all treads later. Ooh, heavy explosives! All right, so there's an exit there, terminal to the south. That exit, who knows where that leads? Might lead to the caves. All right, that's the question. Oh shoot! I wonder how good of an idea caves are. Oops. One percent corruption. Damn, one of our tractor beams is already hurt. But hey, that's why we have two. Okay, we'll grab a heat sink that we don't need. Ah. Okay, grab that. Grab that. We're definitely a scavenger. We're a scavenger mutant at the moment. All right, light treads are fast enough. I'm going to switch to treads. Mainly because they have a lot more integrity. Oh, security level three. What that means is we're not going to actually get anything done here. I'm just going to, yes, I threw a botnet on it, but couldn't do any real hacking. All right, 1% corruption. Ooh, here's an interesting terminal. Alright, we don't need to go this way, that's probably way to bet. Not a good way to go. I do kind of want to know what that exit leads. But we can't tell the signal interpreter. It might not. So do we want to go into the caves? Mm. Launchers are effective in the caves, but without sensors in the caves, you're in bad shape probably. Ooh. This hauler just called for reinforcements, but maybe he'll drop, he'll be nice enough to drop his storage unit for us. Just waiting for him to get a little further away so we're not caught right in the blast there. Eh, well, he dropped his uh, medium storage unit and some prototype engines. Oh, faulty. Faulty. Faulty, wow. Are you seriously carrying a whole bunch of faulty engines? What are you? Faulty prototype transport, I guess. All right, well, we got a little bit of storage space now. <laughs> That's right, Badge. Mobile treasure box reported us to the authorities. <laughs> hmm, going to end up corrupting ourselves here. Part of the problem is once our corruption goes over four, we can start misfiring randomly. And if you're using launchers, misfiring randomly can be a very, very bad thing. This is all a side effect, of course, of us using point-blank proton missiles. He says right before he fires another one. Okay, well, we got his engine. And then he got totally blown up, and there's more reinforcements coming. Hey, dude, stop shooting me. Oh, shoot. All right, let's use a missile on this guy. Eh, heavy missile. Oh, actually, we're down to only one... 
decent launcher of the explosive type. Whoops, you know what? I fired the wrong thing. Still not used to having multiple launchers on. What else is up there? No. Oops, missed. Oops, missed again. Oh, we've got his gun. Okay, good. I'm happy with that result. Flight unit. Anyway, alright, so we're chasing that dude down, but... And we got his storage unit. Good enough. Oh, your friend's... Your friend's coming, too. Alright, got some for him. Programmers. Ooh, I'm kind of liking these recycling units in this mode. Yeah, <laughs> misfiring is brutal because of, especially with the launches, because they cause so much, they can cause so much mayhem from one shot. Other stuff can be pretty bad, too, but launchers especially so. That's why you never want to even leave a launcher attached if you're corrupted. But the thing is, in this mode, you pretty much, you need to have them attached all the time. It's your main weapon. So, let us... Oh, damn it, I couldn't even retrieve the matter. All right, we're just going to leave this area before we get... Oh, shoot. Troopers already. I was going to say, before we get spotted here, I'm just going to use missiles on this guy. You know, do it the... There's his friend. I am looking forward to even more powerful launchers. The late game launchers are awesome. If we survive that long. Oh, shoot. Okay, never mind. He was going to catch us anyway. Hey, dude. It's a single programmer. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, damn. We lost the good tractor beam. <laughs> Crap. Tractor beam's been pretty helpful so far, anyway. Haven't had to worry about picking up matter because it just flies right to us. Well, that was a mess. You know what? We need another rocket launcher for now. There's another exit. Don't know where that one leads. Oh, here we go. More heavy missiles. Ooh, more proton missiles. Ooh, heavy rockets. Uh, precision grenade launcher. Ooh. I am being lured into these rooms one after another. <laughs> precision grenade launcher. Let's see here. <laughs> mm, let's see, we have four proton missiles. All right, let's get rid of the rocket launcher. Precision grenade launcher. Yes, that'll be nice. Shorter range, but effective. What's the, I mean, doesn't it have what kind of, yeah, it's plus 30% to targeting. So it's nice not missing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bad J has just reported, we are 5% system corruption. <laughs> um, Bad J is asking, yeah, do you believe the missiles uh, explode at max range? That's true, they do. Um, so, yeah, you can just use them for max range, and uh, they will explode like that. But then, I mean, the thing is, if you want to direct hit, it's going to be more effective. I mean, obviously, because there's... Uh, there is some uh, diminishing power as you go outward in the radius. So if you hit them direct, they're going to take the maximum possible damage from that shot. Sometimes it's you want to fire... Oh, shoot. You know what? I was just looking at the other traps as soon as it appeared and said, you know what? I bet there's more and we're going to get hit. Uh, but it's probably not right here. So I'm going to pick these up and leave. Oh, no. It happened. All right. We've got two of them. God. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've already found three exits. Three. And none of them are guaranteed to be uh, main exits. Actually, there's a main exit nearby. Huh? Should be somewhere around here. Ooh, there's a garrison. Maybe we should go into that garrison. Um, yeah, it's not a direct hit if you do that, Bad Jane. Oh, you're saying you line them up with the max range? and you, Are you saying you try not to fire on their space or whatever? Because the game detects that, actually. Um, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were try if you're trying to do that, 
that doesn't give you an advantage. I thought you meant if you're outside your explosive range and they haven't even come within range if you're trying to fire to the edge of the explosion, explosive range just to do that. Um, but if you're trying to line them up so that the shot goes straight into them for like some kind of bonus, that doesn't actually work. Uh, the game will instead tell say that you're targeting them. Uh, the only thing reason in case it won't do that is if um, you know, like... Uh, Mm, I'm not. I think it does it when you're out of range, even too. But yeah, you can't take advantage of that situation because it's pretty. It's a pretty cheap thing. Uh, it would be to be able to do that. Um, it, it actually was the case a long time ago, but people were doing that. They were taking advantage of the fact of the the game mechanics like that and the UI. <laughs> and so what the game does now is it says, okay, you're obviously going to try to fire at that guy, so we're going to pretend you're actually firing at that guy. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but it does work, for example, if there's like an enemy here and you want a better chance to hit him, you can fire at the wall and that will work because he's not in your line of fire. If you're firing, if he's in your line of fire, it's going to automatically target him no matter what. But if it's not in your line of fire, it will target this cell, for example, but it will more obviously be much more likely to hit despite other guys moving around in front of it. Um, but obviously then you have the, the situation where it'll be slightly out of his, you know, they'll be slightly out of the, uh, uh, away from the uh, epicenter of the explosion. And uh, so they'll take a little less damage for it. But sometimes it's worth that if you want to make sure you hit. And I do that a lot. Um, and especially when there's multiple enemies, I don't mind, you know, I'll fire in the middle of all of them, even hitting a wall. I've already done that in this stream a bunch of times um, for that reason. Uh, just because it's worth hitting multiple enemies at once. Okay, so there's a garrison here. Do we want to go into the garrison? Purely for riff. We've already done this floor once through, after going through a shoot. Eh, I guess let's let's go through here if we can. Never mind, we can't. <laughs> I was going to hack it open. That didn't work. And now there's a programmer sitting here right next to a garrison, which means if... If we fight the programmer, he's going to call reinforcements from the garrison unless we kill him really quickly. Also, we're sitting right next to him. Oh, fighting guys in this mode <laughs> at point blank. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on our new precision grenade launcher and literally shoot this guy in our face. Boom, please die. He didn't die. Killed our power source. Luckily, we had a spare. Please just die. God, I'm glad that Garrison didn't wake up. <laughs> Small matter pod. Don't mind it. Hey, our utilities are full for the first time. <laughs> All right, we have no extra power source. Let's actually just grab that rocket launcher. Place our heavy missile launcher. All right, so many exits. None of these are definitely the one we want. Let me go look over here real quick. Oh shoot, alarm. Sitting here in the middle of nowhere. Well, in this corridor. Uh, Hey guys, line up just perfect like that. Oh shoot. All right, now we have assaults coming. We might have to just leave. I don't want to mess with assaults in this mode, mainly just because we'll keep getting more and more assaults. Uh, we're not in a good condition for going through branches though. It's okay. We'll just go with the flow. Actually, wait, what's this? Like a quick core damaged. Um, damn it. Stop there! I want to grab your stuff. Not going to be anything left of you after this. There we go. We picked up. See, all his matter just came to us. We didn't have to go over there to get it. So, track to be very effective. Alright. There is no one assault coming. Spam schematics? 
for what though? I mean, what else do we need? Uh, what actually? What, did we we didn't get the matter filter yet, huh? That's right. We only have the long range tractor beam. We don't. I can't get very good schematics without hackware. This is security level three too. What is here? There's power sword here. Oh, we're supposed to be doing launcher mode though. Uh, whoops. Zero percent. That's not happening. Well, I guess we'll take our chances on this exit. All these launchers. Pretty crazy. I hope this... Well, even if it leads to the caves, it'll be okay. It's the next floor. Okay. Gonna add yet more utilities we can't stock. And here we are on the next floor. Shock absorption. Hey, that's a good idea. Thank you. Badges. Going through all the possible things that could help us in this mode. <laughs> Shock absorption would be actually really good um, so that we can fire missiles in our own face and not take quite as much of the damage. All right, we got a new prototype missile launcher. We can upgrade our protons. It's pretty awesome because as soon as you come into a new floor in this mode, you can immediately upgrade your launchers because, well, there's launchers everywhere. <laughs> Let's find out what this is. Insufficient free slots. It's a guided launcher. Oh, it's a guided EMP. Hmm. We'd need, personally, I would want more weapon slots before I'd use a guided weapon. Well, that's a big terminal. I'm just going to do one purge threat because we're because it's a direct hack and inevitably fail that since we have no hackware. That's a hard one on the level three. It's a technician. Where's this terminal? Hmm, doesn't seem to be in this room. Long range missile launcher. Improved proton. Drop both of those. Shoot, now we can't get outside without him seeing us. Oops, he's dead. Now what's down here? Long range missiles. A lot more long range missiles, all right. Let's see. Where are you, long range missile? There's one in the middle. Oh, it got damaged. <laughs> There's one on the bottom row though. All right, we'll grab that. Uh-oh, spotted by a guardian. Actually, that might be a good thing. Well, I say good, but it's hard to fight him in here. Shoot, I should have gone to the north, not the east. Where's the data core? Uh, I guess it got blown up. I mean, there were three explosions there. I don't think the data core would survive that. If there was one explosion, I think it could survive, but there was three. <clears throat> Schematic shock absorption. Okay, Actually, no, there's a direct purge threat here. I don't want to do that. All right, that's helpful. Actually, it's too high percent. I want to keep doing it. Okay, well, didn't get to, but that was more valuable to me at this time. Let's put on improved proton. Shoot, ow, wow, it's gonna hurt me. Ow, stop, stop, oh man. Now we need some more tractor beams. We don't have any armor, really, very little, which is making it very hard to, uh... shoot, I can't even fire that. Oh, that's right. We don't have a good power source anymore. Shoot. I need a second power slot. EM really requires more power support now. That's interesting because when this mode first came out uh, in 2018, the um, EM didn't have the requirements it has now. All the energy requirements were doubled. So EM was clearly superior, but now it's it's good. But once you get into the mid-game launchers and, and uh, whatnot, you really do, or if you want to use fire a bunch of them at once, you're going to need... Uh, 
to build around it. So much more balanced. I'm going over here so we can save up some energy. There we go. Oh, good. He's got a better engine for us. Also treads. Looking at our selection of launchers. Proton. We'll grab one of those in a second. Okay. Schematic for shock absorption. Shock absorption system. 14%. I'm going to do a botnet first. Shoot. I wanted to make it so that we can get some more hacks later, including that one, but, well, we didn't succeed at that. Should have started it earlier, really. Grab another proton missile launcher. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's too bad, Jay. We got to pick up that matter like a peasant surf bot now. Yeah, we need to find another fabricator. I will build us a new uh, tractor beam. I'm sure we'll find one on this floor. One or more. A lot of improved protons. Oh, all right, I guess we probably should pick some of those up. Also, we can drop this missile launcher in exchange for the long range one and upgrade our, whoops, no. All right, double improved. Still low on the utilities. I guess actually I need to kind of change my navigational habits too for this mode because I'm not used to walking around with launchers, um, which normally if you're walking around with out launchers, you'll want to try to maneuver so that you're coming around corners more sharply, you're in close, and you follow walls and stuff like that. But if you're, with launchers, you don't really want to do that. You want to kind of be out in the open. Here's a bad room. <laughs> All right, we are just hugging the left wall here. Hugging the left uh, side of the map, I should say. Yes, did that because I wanted all this matter. It's got a matter pod filled with matter. They're cleaning up a bunch of debris in this room. Damn it, didn't cr manage to crush that one. What about you? Crush you? We're not very fast, I know. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, no, damn it. Hey, he took him out for us, look at that. Small matter pod lost, that's no big deal. Um, That was pretty. Also destroyed all the matter. 70 matter up there. We're slow though. Got to be worried, wary of uh, actually walking over there. Plus we just picked up a full small matter pod, so that's okay. Level three. Oh, look at that. Managed to make a 7% hack. Found some exits. Oh, there was a caves exit right near where we entered. Extension. Hmm. That seems especially dangerous. Lower caves. Oh, damn it. Programmers. Going to use our long-range missiles on them. Again, I'd like to meet them in the open. Here we are. There they are. They've arrived. Actually, it's only one, I guess. Mm. Maybe I should fire two. Prototype. 
Precision rocket launcher. Hmm. Upping our prototype game. Very similar to the missile launcher, clearly. But still better in some ways. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to drop that. 2% corruption. Programmer has been killed. Send more programmers. Yeah. They will. That was reinforcements, though. Okay. Um, no, wait. Buy that first. And actually, I want to get main access. No. Thank you. Oh. Hello there. Hmm. Tough call. 60. Actually, we can move faster on our wheel. Nice. Okay, this room's going to explode in a second. It's going to be glorious. I'm going to fire a precision rocket launcher right there. And you're all going to die. That was precision. Hey, look, we found the exit. Don't even need the hack. <laughs> This is the main exit. Oh, hello there. Lots more stuff. Yes, let's try direct hits. Thank you. Excellent. Parts. Something tells me the caves would actually be especially hard in this mode because um, normally if you go into the caves, you need a lot of spare parts and we don't have a lot or sensors to avoid things. We wouldn't be able to get as much stuff in the caves. You need to be prepared for that kind of journey. Oh, our matter pods. It's kind of funny. Our matter cap is 550. All right, I'm going to take that exit, but I'm going to search a little around a little bit first here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Not good. <laughs> Heavy explosives in a room filled with fusion modulators. These all explode. So if you run over one of these traps in here and it decides to explode, this entire room will explode. So there's a couple options. One is wait until you've found them all. It helps to have a structural scanner. Hack to find them. Um, big boom time. <laughs> or, yeah, big main C is really smart. It, hey, look, it's, it's making me stop. <laughs> smart indeed. The other option, you can just step back and just literally blow it up yourself. That is another option. I don't think we really need the alert from that. We could also just, you know, the other option is, uh, yeah, just walk through. I'm going to walk it this way. There won't be any down here. And first see what's in these rooms. So launcher. Terminal. Here we go. Let's see if we can disable some traps. Oh, we can purge threat. That's, that's valuable too. Oh, check it out. It says disarm traps is not available, which means there aren't any. This is security level one, which means its range isn't huge. But that means there aren't any that close to it. So I'm going to use this to purge threat. Nice. Double purge. That means we're probably not going to get anything else out of this. Yep, we're going to spell you right eventually. 14%. That means there's probably there's no traps in this area. I don't know how really far the range on a smaller one is. I don't normally do that hack, but a uh, bigger terminal is going to have a bigger range. But that means there's less likely to be those traps over here. So we can probably circle around the side, I think. Well, I know we can go over here. I mean, in this main big room, though. Ooh, all right, there's two fabricators. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, this whole room. This whole room, I really want to just blow the whole room up. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't trying to blow up the fab. I, I was trying to avoid getting hitting the... Uh, Hitting, blowing up anything at the time, Bad Jay. Uh, I was figuring you were referring to what I was saying earlier anyway. Here, 
Um, I'd like to blow up. If you were a friend of what I said now, I'm going to blow. I would like to blow this up. This wouldn't blow up. Though. This is out of the range, I believe, of these. And at least it's far enough out of the range that it won't actually be destroyed. You can even look. Its radius is five on this. You can see it in the scan window or open it here. Radius five. So, yeah, technically, if we blew it up, this would be on the very edge. And it has 35 armor. So, maybe. <laughs> That's one of the things about the factory is there's a lot of fabricators, but um, oftentimes when you're building stuff, depending on the layout, they might get caught in an explosion if enemies are nearby and if you fight around them. So the idea is to not fight around them. But mm -hmm. There's shock traps up here too. Probably more than one sitting up here in this room. Also, we don't even need heat sinks, by the way. I'm just, I have them because, oh great. Of course, there's a shock trap right in front of the navigator. Oh, uh, we can't actually hack this one anyway. It's too hard. Whoa, we almost got it. Um, hmm. I kind of like that wheel. <laughs> ah, shoot. Oh, he's going to do it. If I stay here long enough, he's going to blow up all of those machines. Uh, sabotage? Oh yeah, sabotage would actually be pretty interesting. But sabotage is random. That's not really what it's for. Sabotage blows up stuff elsewhere. No, we... Oh, but it wasn't sabotage. Oh, we need a... If we had a terminal... Also, we can't use fabricators for that. We, If we had a terminal, we could run the detonate Trojan. That is something I've pretty much never, never done anymore since I added it to the game. It's... Uh, it's actually a really cool, fun Trojan to use, too. Um, I'm thinking of the detonate Trojan. That's different. It's not the force sabotage hack. Uh, we could turn them all into... Oh, you're talking about the fabricator one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's a different hack. That's um, overloading the fabricator. Force overload. That one's pretty good. I use that, as well. I use that fairly often when I'm running. <laughs> Um, that could indirectly cause a big explosion here too. If we wait here long enough, I'm, I'd like him to blow this thing up because then I won't be blamed for it. The problem is, see this value there? It says stability under explosive potential and stability 90%. That means there's only a one out of 10 chances that when something hits that, it's going to actually explode it, uh, indirectly. Plus there's a delay of two to 10 turns before it happens. So it's not very likely he's going to cause that. Because he's only, uh, I doubt he's going to actually manage to do it. Um, hmm. Oh, what the hell? Maybe let's just do it. do it with the rocket array for better effect but honestly that's overkill let's, let's not do that oh he did it they did it <laughs> oh i swapped in a rocket launcher i was about to do that yes that means it's not our fault precision rocket launcher and he's dead <laughs> oh that was perfect nice this whole room's gone Nice. All right, let's try and ram this guy over. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted was your wheel. No, the second fab didn't survive. Yeah, that one was definitely too close. <laughs> All right, we are done here. Anyway, nice little experimental foray into 
well, <laughs> exploratory uh, look at what was up here. I wanted to see if we could get something else, but eh, in pretty decent shape here. Well, I say decent. It's not that great. All right, I said I want another power source. Let's do that because we're having trouble keeping a big enough inventory and losing power kind of sucks. Plus, the secondary reason is we want to use EMP. And without two power slots, it's really hard to use mid-late game EMP. Uh, you want two power slots and possibly um, some sort of energy storage, some battery or whatever. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm still going to stick with four propulsion is fine. So we'll go with another utility. I'm kind of tempted to start get, to get a third weapon, but we're not. I'm not really at a point where I think we need that yet. For with I mean with this particular mode, firing triple launchers would be pretty insane though. So I think that's something that needs to happen eventually. Yeah, we can't handle more explosions at the moment. This is quite true. All right, so we're in the center east side of the map. Yeah, we need um, we need much better defenses and utilities. Our utilities basically suck right now. Look at that. We have a whole bunch of heat sinks we don't need. Matter, yes, okay, we, we can use the matter, and I'm, I'm glad we've got some of those, but they're also just small and medium matter pods. We can get we could easily get a single matter storage that has more than all of those combined. Storage is super low. Um, at least there's some. And uh, we just have a tidy bit of armor. But we're in decent shape. So, anyway, um... We're about halfway through. Well, no, I wouldn't say we're halfway to the surface, but uh, I mean, we are actually halfway to the surface. But I don't think we're halfway to winning time-wise because the late game takes longer. But well, this run might end before that point. I'm not uh, super confident in it just because it's it's a it's an it's a new mode requires different strategies. But anyway, uh, time is about up for today, so. I'm going to stop the stream here and we will pick it up again uh, next week at the same time um, and we'll continue this run and finish it uh, because I won't be streaming the week after. So then I've got to finish this one next week. Uh, so anyway, um, let's see where's my cursor? There it is. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. I will see you in chat or again on stream next week.